like there was this uh clip of a cartoon i saw like a, a year ago or something but it, it really stuck with me for some reason because is what the the person said that there was a character and he was kind of advising another character he's saying look this isn't the end of the world it's not a big deal and he took his like favorite mug or something like that and he he says this is my favorite mug right chucks out the window and he says it's gone now right and that's okay and it was like kind of a lesson in like you know nothing is forever and like things fall apart sometimes and that's okay you can just let them go and that's that's fine mm. right and that to me was like that's that's like everything everything you have in life like this car these trousers like this bottle of water it's all gonna go at some point and you're gonna keep going and there's no point trying to like hold on to things that you have right and so i feel like i want to go away from like the tendency that people have to like hoard things and like keep a hold of everything that they come across i mean don't get me wrong there are things that are of sentimental value that you know people can hold like i don't know maybe like your someone special to you gave you like a, a necklace and you wear that because it means something to you it's not like you have to get rid of everything right mm. but like i feel like the less you have in life the more light you can move the more freely you can move the more like kind of liberated you are because it's then links back to the whole like feeling free and stuff like that you yeah. feel like if you don't have these worldly possessions you're more yeah. likely yeah. to go and do try something else and go somewhere else because exactly. you don't have all this stuff waiting for you when you come back kind of yes. thing yes okay i can see that a little bit, bit like, like um what are they called is it a nomad yeah yeah, yeah, yeah a little nomad, bit like yeah. a nomad yeah yeah a little bit yeah a little bit like that because hmm. But there's that quote from um, the Fight Club, right? The things you own end up owning you, right? And okay. the context is basically like the main character is this guy who just like buys everything out of this IKEA magazine and just like likes to like look at things and like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. But then he's like so tied down to that that place he has because of all the things he owns that he just ends up like not changing his life. Even though it's like so obvious that he should mm. in the movie, right? And so I don't want that to be the case for me. I, I just think in general, it's best to err on the side of like being more minimal. It's, it's, it tends to be healthier in most scenarios. And so that's, that's a, a kind of like a, a question I ask myself when I'm considering doing something different, right? Is this more minimal? Then I think that's something I, I probably should do. Maybe, right? And so when it came to sleeping on the floor, it was like, Ah, that's minimal, right? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's literally like that. Like I literally think that simply. It's so just like bare bones level thinking. Yeah. Like a lot of people think that I'm like a very complex thinker. I'm not at all. I'm just very like I like simplifying things down to like the the very basic principles of like okay, yeah, logical. Yeah, logical. Like what is good, right? What like, do you need like to survive? What yeah. can you go do without? Exactly. So like. It's like what, like ne like necessities and then comfort. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If you enjoyed that clip and you want to watch the whole podcast with me and Ollie in all its glory, click over here to watch the full podcast. <laughs>